So we'll just start in Shavasana. And just make yourself comfortable and choosing whatever position you would like. Close your eyes. Allow your eyes to rest. And then begin to notice the breath. See if you can slow down the hustle and bustle of the day, the thoughts in your mind. Any craziness going on, see if you can slow that down through your breath. Your next inhalation, take a big long stretch, stretching fingertips and toes in opposite directions. And then draw knees into chest, give yourself a hug. Gentle rock from side to side. And then Place your hands behind your knees and we'll begin to kind of rock and roll forward and backward so that the shoulders and the back of the head tap and the toes tap the ground as you come forward. So just massaging through the length of your spine as you rock from back and forth. See if you can gain a little bit of momentum as you rock and see the next time that you land on your toes, you can come to a standing position without using your hands. It's all right if it's challenging, so just give it a try. And then if you make your way to a standing position, just find yourself in a forward fold, maybe allowing the knees to bend and the hands to graze the mat. The shoulders and the neck are released. And then just maybe sway gently from side to side, allowing the hips and the shoulders in opposite directions. And then place your hands down onto the earth. And on your next inhale, walk your hands off the right edge of your mat. Stay in your forward fold, just creating some space on the left side body. Walk your hands through center and walk hands off the left side edge of your mat. Hands come back to center. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands either come to the shins or the earth. Flat back, create length. And then exhale, forward fold. Activate your ujjayi breath here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, create length, shoulders away from the ears, and exhale, fold. Hands down to the earth, and then step both of your feet back, coming into a high plank, and then dropping the knees down for a table. And we'll go through a few rounds of cow and cat here, moving with your breath. Creating space between the shoulder blades as you come into your cat. And then a deeper arch in your back as you find cow. See if you can hear your breath. Next, inhale brings you back to a neutral spine, tabletop position. And then tuck your toes, send your hips skyward for downward facing dog. Lower the forearms down towards the earth, hips still high, 
pushing through the forearms, lifting the shoulders out, out of the ears, and then either stay here or begin to tiptoe the feet forward for dolphin pose. And maybe lift it off the floor, creating strength and heat in the shoulders and arms. And then you tiptoe feet back, push back up onto your hands, downward facing dog. Breathe here. And breathe out. Next, inhale, send the right leg long, free leg dog. And then exhale, knee to nose, round to the spine, curl in. See if you can tap knee to the nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, plant right foot between the hands, and then rise for crescent lunge. Breathe in here. Pushing off of left toes. Breathe out. We'll go into eagle arms from here. So left arm under, right arm on top. Either palms of hands together or hugging towards the shoulders. And keep your bend in the right knee. And I'll see if you can lift your elbows higher, be up for the mini back bend. And that's how round forward, elbows towards the knees, finding space in the upper back. Inhale, coming back up, find that mini back bend. Find your balance. And then exhale, round forward. Inhale, rise. Release the arms, coming back into your crescent lunge. And then hands come down to frame the right foot. Right foot back and then often to flow through a vinyasa or straight to the down dog. And left leg lifts. Exhale, squeeze it in, knee to nose. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, step it forward, crescent lunge. Arms reach towards the ceiling. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, eagle arms, this time right arm under. And then keep the bend in the left knee. Breathe in as you find that mini bend, elbows go higher, maybe eases up. Exhale, round forward. Lower the torso. Inhale, lift. Gaze up or back. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Release and unwind the arms. Back to your crescent lunge. And then exhale, hands come down. Flow through your version of vinyasa. Option to keep the left leg lifted. From your downward facing dog, please step or hop to the top of your mat. Inhale for a halfway lift and exhale fold. Inhale, arms reach skyward. And then exhale, hands come towards the heart center. Inhale, sink down low, sweep your fingers along the floor, come into chair pose. Uttasana. Sink the seat down low. Shoulders are relaxed. And then we'll lower our torso, send our hands back, airplane arms. We lift the heels. Lower the heel, come back up to the chair. And back again. Airplane arms, tippy toes. Lower the heels, arms go high. Last time, arms and torso, tippy toes. From here, we'll move into diver pose. We'll begin to lower the crown of the head towards the earth as you straighten your legs. Arms stay extended, find your balance. 
And then from here, if you'd like to, you can play with crow pose. So your, hand, your hands are already high. You're in the right position. Maybe play with just one foot, or maybe both. You're forward, not straight down. And then, of course, option to play or use a block. And then take a moment to play there if you're still in your crow or everything there. And when you're ready, no rush, making your way towards child's pose. Just a few seconds to rest and reset. And then on your next inhale, coming through tabletop, back into down facing dog. Big toes touch the back of mat. Inhale, right leg lifts for three leg dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, tap right elbow. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, cross the body twist. Inhale, sit high. Exhale, crescent lunge. So going back to the flow that we did earlier, adding a little bit on here. Inhale, arms are lifted. Exhale, eagle arm. Left arm under, right arm over. One flow into your back bend. And then find or fold forward, knee towards the knee, elbows towards the knee. Inhale back up, keep your eagle arms. And then we'll try to come into full eagle here, pushing off of left toes, and either wrapping left around right, maybe finding a half bind and sinking hips down low. Draw your knees in or center and lift your elbows a little bit higher. One more breath in. And then as you exhale, come into a cross ankle forward fold. So right angle crosses over left, I'm sorry, over right. And just allow the head and hands to hang here. Next, inhale, hand down towards the earth in front of you. Unwind the legs and we'll send the left leg high for standing Your head is down toward the earth. Hips are square. See if you can walk your hand closer to your foot. Or maybe take one hand to the back of the thigh, maybe both hands are balanced. One more breath in here. And then the left foot comes down to meet the right forward fold. Inhale, arms reach skyward. And exhale, hands start center. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Stepping back into high plank, then down facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, draw it in, knee to nose. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale. Exhale, cross the body, right elbow. Inhale, send it high. Exhale, find your crescent lunge. Left foot forward. Inhale as you rise. Exhale, find your eagle arms. Right arm under at this time. One, find your, find your back bend here. Inhale. And then exhale, rounding forward. 
inhale lift and then exhale we're gonna push off of our right toes this time and wrap around left leg for full eagle pose garugasana squeeze the inner thigh sink down low draw knees to midline elbows lifted one more breath here sit down a little lower and then on your exhale, allow right foot to cross over left ankle, forward fold. Unwind the legs, right leg goes high for standing splits. Same options apply here. See if you can keep the hips square and either Walk your hands in towards your feet, your foot, or see if you can grab behind the calf with one hand or both. Just play balance even for even a split second. And right foot comes down, knees left, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale for chair. We won't be here long. Shoulders relaxed. Make sure you can see your toes. And then play with sinking down as low as you can towards the earth. Maybe coming to sit all the way down without using your hands. Once you get there, we'll move into boat pose or navasana. A little bit of core work. So take whatever option you would like. Knees bent or straight. With the support of your fingers or arms extended. Take out any rounding in the back. Continue to breathe. If you got your knees bent, maybe play with straightening the legs, even if it's for just a couple of seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. Release, coming into a cross-legged position, rolling over the knees, and then stepping the feet back. We'll come into a cobra pose here. Move forehead down towards the mat, hands beneath the shoulders. And then on your inhale, lifting, peeling torso, or head off the mat. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, maybe a little bit higher. Exhale, lower. Last time, continue to lift. See if you can straighten the arms without causing any strain. And exhale, lower. From here, extend the right arm out to a T, the palm facing down, and then your left hand is still underneath your left shoulder. You can wrap your right temple towards the earth, and then slowly begin to roll onto your right side, maybe stopping where left leg is stacked on top of right. Left arm at a 90 degree angle. And having a gentle opening in the right shoulder here. If you feel like you could safely go a little bit farther, continue to roll your right and plant the left foot behind right knee. Wherever you are, just continue to breathe. No effort. Slowly come out of the way you came in, coming back to the belly. Right hand with the right shoulder, left arm extends towards your left. Lift down the earth and slowly roll to the left side. Option to stay here with legs stacked one on top of the other. 
or the mobility continues to roll and plant right foot behind left knee. Knowing that each side may be different. Continue to breathe. Next inhale, make your way back. And we'll push ourselves up. Looks like it's not going to come off just yet, so we'll have time to finish. We'll come back to a seated position, cross-legged. Do a little bit of hip openings while trying to swing. We're going to grab our right leg. We're going to move into uh, rocking the baby. So everybody may look a little bit different, but you basically want to cradle your right leg and chin. So maybe um, right knee goes inside of right elbow, and then the left, right foot comes out of left elbow crease. If that's not available, then you just play with wherever you are, cradling that right shin towards the body, while keeping a tall spine. The right foot is engaged. So wherever you are, maybe you remain in stillness. Maybe you have a gentle swing from side to side. Just getting an opening and release in the right hip. And then gently release. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Knowing that there's probably going to be a big difference between the two sides. So you may not be able to mirror exactly. The most important thing is to keep the integrity of the spine. I'm tighter on this side, I can't quite get my foot into my elbow on the side. And continue to breathe. And you find this way from side to side. And rock your baby. And gently release from there. And both legs out long, feet are fast. Inhale, reach your arms towards the sky. Gaze up toward the ceiling, shoulders are relaxed. Find length. And exhale, hinge at the hips. You can extend your chin towards your toes. Coming to your forward fold. Inhale here. Next exhale. Big breath in. Maybe finding a little bit more forward movement. And exhale, fold. Biggest breath in of the day. Again, finding more length. And exhale, fold. And from here, you can slow your leg down towards your back. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Taking a happy baby. Soles of the feet towards the sky. And then maybe draw left in towards the glue and extend right leg long or straighten as much as you can. Ninja baby. And take it to the other side. Right heel in towards the seat. Left leg extends. Option to flow through that one more time or just do a normal happy baby and rock from side to side. Whatever your body feels like it needs. And 
Release the soles of the feet, knees come into chest, squeeze, lift the torso, lift the forehead, squeeze everything in towards your knees. Everything comes in together in the tight ball that you can. Hold it here. And then release. Any other final poses that you'd like to take to close out your practice? Go ahead and do that now. Or if Shavasana is calling to you, you can make your way there. No rush. Want you make your way to Shavasana. Allow your eyes to close. Allow everything to totally release and just melt into the earth beneath you. Do a scan of your body, starting with the crown of your head, noticing any areas that can soften. Continue to scan, making your way down your body. What can you release? Now that your physical body is relaxed, notice your thoughts. Notice the emotional body. Can you let go of anything up there? And just allowing yourself to be totally rested. Nothing active. And then we'll begin by taking a deeper breath in through the nose. As you slowly begin to weaken the body.
tiny movements, nipples. Maybe shaking your head, yes and no, against the earth. And then drawing your hand in towards the center. And keeping your eyes closed to take a moment to thank yourself for showing up and doing something kind for yourself, taking care of yourself today. Hopefully noticing a sense of calm, more so than you had before your practice. And seeing if you can carry that with you throughout the day. And then gently bow forehead towards your fingertips. Namaste.